Hey guys, good morning. How was everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Gaurav Chikara Kai. Today, it's very exciting with you, so make sure you watch till the end. What we are going to do today is, I have my bougainvillea in a large pot, but it seems to be not growing or it seems unhealthy. All right, so what we're going to do is re-energize it and reinvent it in a way uh, a plant needs somehow uh, pruning of the shoot, pruning of the roots and everything uh, like that. So I'll show you what exactly we'll do and I'll show you the results as well. So make sure you stay with me on this video until the end. And when you're finished, make sure you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can press that bell icon so that you don't miss any new videos. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Gaurav Chikara Garden. As you can see, I'm indoors. The reason is simple. Outside, the temperature is like 50 degrees Celsius, and I got to work on this bougainvillea. So here I'm inside, indoors, and I'll take you through how how to make sure your bougainvillea comes back to life. This bougainvillea, I. It's been with me for almost five years and if you see the trunk has grown thicker around here but sadly I don't know what that is I'll try and figure out probably the reason could be overwatering of it and I put these pebbles on this so I'll have to remove these and probably the fertilizer is uh, inadequate I don't know what the reason is uh, this thing is not asking for uh, hard pruning so I'll try and uh, do whatever I can and see if this thing would flower all right let's get into it I'll start by removing these pebbles because yeah, this thing should have been uh, not there in the first place because if I've been overwatering this plant, then these pebbles are not helping the cause. And if you come to think of it, a five-year-old bougainvillea should go in crazy at this time of the year but that's not the case with this one never mind we'll try and get it back in the game with lots of flowers and stuff so i'll be doing a couple of things um, some soft pruning fertilizing and if there is anything else uh, probably a fungicide or whatever we'll do that
let me try and find out what's the case with the overwatering stuff. doesn't look like a case of overwatering. Probably the roots have grown, you know, outgrown the pot. So why not just try and get it rectified? Just scrape through the roots so that you don't damage them. Yeah, as you can see, the roots have kind of you have uh, a huge plant in a pot, yes, you need to do this every, I don't know, 3-4 years, otherwise, as you can see, that's what happens, I mean, once the root system starts getting stagnated, that's when the plant starts dying.
so I've got these roots Just deal with the roots which are kind of secondary and small, don't go for the long ones or the hard ones or the ones which are like kind of actually supporting your plant. When I got this plant, there were actually three cuttings joined together. Yeah. So let's deal with each one separately.
this one had two good branches. I'll leave them. And again at the top, I'll pinch. leaving one branch the reason is simple because this plant wasn't that healthy and it wasn't growing that well so if I remove all the leaves all the branches there is a possibility that this plant might die so yeah we don't want that so I'll leave some leaves hanging So I have uh, cleaned up the roots with water and now I'll soak them in uh, fungicide which I use and that would be cinnamon powder for like uh, half an hour and then these roots would be devoid of any fungal disease and I'll repot them then. Alright, so this bougainvillea plant, in fact there are three of them, so I'll let them sit in the cinnamon powder and water for like a couple of hours and then I'll remove them and repot them.
This looks pretty good. If you don't like gardening that much, I would suggest don't get yourself into this. I mean, repotting a plant uh, is very tricky, and if you don't do it right, you might lose the plant. So, the point of making me making these videos is simple that you know exactly how to go about doing things in your garden. If you have a doubt, consult or let professionals do it. Because experimentation might cost you uh, the plant you've been, uh, you've been working on. So yeah, my suggestion, unless you know your stuff, don't try.
wasn't the case of overwatering, so I let these stones be in there so that the pot retains some moisture because it's too hot. And don't worry, we will be uh, coming back to this plant. I mean, as you can see what condition this plant is in. Uh, we'll come back to it. I'll give it two to three weeks and then we'll uh, come back and see how the growth has been. And yes, I'm expecting it to flower simultaneously with some new branches growing. Obviously, I'll expect the branches to be at the top and yes, the flowering branches, all right? And here you see the, the bougainvillea, it's, it's growing once again, growing beautifully. The leaves are green, um, unlike when we started, they were yellow and they were falling off. So now you can see the bougainvillea is all charged up and it's renewed in a way that it'll grow uh, for next three four years without any uh, any solid reasons for us to uh, do this again and don't worry plants don't mind uh, getting pruned uh, because they love it they they also need a uh, change of soil they also need change of of their their structure they also need to to uh, you know their roots to be cut so that they can grow them back again it's it's a process and uh, you got to not mind it because uh, it's, it's okay with plants they love it all right so put that aside and make sure you have your plants uh, healthy and they're growing and they're beautiful one thing to remember while you were viewing this video is if you do not know if you're not aware of all the steps to the point wherein you know exactly what you're doing do not start it because you'll spoil your plan the plan might be dead so make sure you watch this video and videos like this before you get on your journey with uh, re-energizing a plan all right I'll see you again until then take care have a good life and yes